You might find this hard to believe, but out here in the public schools of America, there's a thriving network of Christians meeting right here on the fields where they play. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, or FCA, has been a force helping about two million coaches and student athletes each year combine their love of sports with their desire to know God better. Now their competitiveness and teamwork is on display across America. FCA recently took its Fields of Faith initiative to Loudoun County, Virginia. On a public school field, we get to hear the gospel presented, and that's, that's powerful. Athletes like Washington Redskins center Chase Rulier compared a life with Jesus Christ to one without him. Going out and partying and, and you know, chasing things you shouldn't be, um, you, you're going to be very lonely. But if, if you have a relationship with, with God, um, you know, you're, you're going to be very full. Your heart's going to be full of, of him. Local youth pastor and sports fanatic Lee Banton. There's a lot of people that say they, they think they have it figured out, but they're still searching. But those that have found Christ, they're like, I'm not searching anymore. I found the truth. Defensive safety Connor McCarthy spoke of a sports injury that would have crushed him had it happened before he came to trust in a good God. He has a plan for everyone that you have to, tr if you trust his plan and really accept his grace and his love, that you know, things in life will just start turning around and you'll view, start viewing the hardships and start viewing them as opportunities to get better and closer to God. They testified those who find Christ find hope. When they figured that hope out, that changes their entire life. I would not be as at peace as I am right now. It's just in my own life, man. I've seen it be real and change me. Football player Max Kirkanich testified how the God of peace coming into his life drained him of a furious anger. I'll get at least probably like two to three unnecessary roughness penalties a game just because I would get angry and then I would like use that as like my motivation. I truly gave my life to Christ when going into 10th grade year and so then I really started realizing that like play, playing for the Lord I didn't need to get as angry. So I went from being a hard hitting linebacker to a kicker. Cross country runner Christina Gay finds God and her sport take her to a higher level. Running is a way for me to just worship the Lord and it's, I use it as an act of worship and I use it to pray and just be at peace. And having him in the center of your life can really have a huge effect on you. FCA's Virginia director celebrated this night of testimony and worship on this one field. We've got 16 schools represented, public high schools, and, and they're all coming together tonight to celebrate what God's doing on their campuses. Everybody loves sports. No, no matter, you know, it's just in our culture. It, why do we focus on coaches and athletes? Because they're in, influencers in our society. And I think students are the one that are changing the world. They're the next ones to change the world. Why would I not want to impact them for Christ? That impact goes on at schools during weekly FCA gatherings called huddles. A time of fun and fellowship, read God's word, somebody will lead a devotional or a thought, and there's some discussion. The goal is to be challenged spiritually, uh, but also just be encouraged knowing that you're with other men or women or boys and girls that share the same faith as you. Huddles are wide open to everyone, especially non-believers. However they come, we know that when they do come, the Holy Spirit's going to work on their heart through the Word of God. Such gatherings played a big role in Roulier's life. Coming to events like this um, and hearing people speak was a big part of my testimony in uh, growing in my faith. The effect of these get-togethers can be thrilling, like what Diner told us is happening at one Loudoun County school. On any given week, they could have between 80 and 120 students attending, which is close to 20% of the student body. During the week, they're praying for friends that are going through struggles, so they're actually taking it from meeting once a week to actually having an impact on the entire school. What the Fellowship of Christian Athletes gives these students is not just a love of the games they play, but all those that play the games and all their fellow students. It teaches them to act like leaders, but also to think like servants of Jesus Christ. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from the Fields of Faith in Ashburn, Virginia.